Hello, I'm Adam, hailing from Parts Fun Known, and if you're wondering why I'm all dressed up, this is the colossal tussle. Everything has been leading to this here on No Rolls Bar. We've got Tony the Milkman putting his career on the line against his son, Kid Flips. Precious Metals challenging for the CBW Tag Team Championships, and the Denimatrix goes one-on-one -on -one with CBW champion Apex with all the gold on the line. Now, as usual, if you like this game, it is based on Worldwide Wrestling by Nathan D. Paoletta, linked to his website in the description below. And also, we're going to be starting the show with a special treat match, the Colossal Russell Memorial Battle Royal, where for the first time in this series, all the players will be playing different characters for this one match only. This match has special rules, but because we want to get you into the show as soon as possible, check in the description for those rules. So get ready. It's time for the Colossal Tussle. Take it away, Tom. Hello, and welcome to City British Wrestling's annual Colossal Tussle. My name's Tom, Head of Creative here at CBW, and this is our roster. Hi, I'm Laurie. I'm playing Tony the Milkman, who is the veteran character. I'm Ollie. I'm playing Golden Joe. 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 I'm bro. No, I'm not playing bro. He's just my bro. <laughs> and I'm the golden boy. I'm Luke, I'm playing Silver Bro, the brother of Golden Joe, 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 and I play the Gatekeeper class. Uh, I'm Lolo, uh, and I'm playing the Denimatrix, uh, who is the anti-hero. Hello, I'm Adam, and I'm playing Kid Flips, <laughs> who is the high flyer. <laughs> right, let's do a really big fight. Yeah! yeah! Big fight, CB the biggest! CB Dub! CB Dub! CB Dub! Okay. We find ourselves in a colossal open air stadium that City British Wrestling have set up for this year's annual colossal tussle, the biggest fight of them all. Uh, as soon as the stream goes live, uh, pyrotechnics burst out from the ring posts, burst out from the, between the audience, burst out from the side of the ramps in the familiar red, blue and gold of City British Wrestling. The letters CBW are spelt out in fireworks way, way, way above the ring. The audience gasps and coo, and oh. 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 Dangerous to do that. And the voice of the announcer rings out over the top grade speaker system that has been hired for this special oh. occasion. Oh. Oh. Nice. No expense spared. A disco drama. <laughs> welcome everyone to City British Wrestling and welcome to this year's Colossal Tussle. Prepare yourselves as these grappling gladiators clash inside and outside the ropes in the name of guts, glory, and gold. <gasps> it is now time for the Colossal Russell Memorial Battle Royale. <laughs> Five entrants will start the match in the ring at the same time. A wrestler can only be eliminated by being thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. The winner is the last wrestler standing. As this uh, announcement is called out, a huge life-size statue of the um, late Colossal Russell is lowered <laughs> from above the ring to a point about 12 feet above the mat where it is suspended. This is both a replica and the trophy for whoever wins this year's Colossal Russell Memorial Battle Royale. Good job. A respectful silence washes across the audience as everyone just takes in for a moment the mighty and beloved form of the greatest giant CBW has ever known. For the audience at home, for this one extra special match, our roster of players will be playing different wrestlers from whom they usually play. But fear not, the characters you love will return after the Colossal Russell Memorial Battle Royale. Making his way to the stage, Kaj Mulligan! Circus music. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic but slightly tired beefcake of a man, completely, blo uh, completely bald, a huge handlebar moustache, and a leopard skin uh, strongman's onesie. Onesie? Singlet, there we go. Uh, and he emerges from the back in a spotlight, uh, riding a huge, gigantic um, unicycle. 
uh, perched mm. atop his nose, exactly in the middle of a gigantic metal bar with two huge iron balls uh, on the end. And he uh, unicycles his way down. He <laughs> hop, 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 uh, jumps into the ring and does a few hey, hop, 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 hee, ha, hoo, ha, bully. And uh, he is in the ring ready to win the colossal Russell Memorial Battle Royale. <laughs> Making their way to the ring, Grout! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the first thing you hear is just this overwhelming noises of toilet flushing. In fact, every toilet in this entire stadium is flushing exactly the same time. It's very intense and it's all very emotional for some people involved. Um, and uh, you hear the crunching of broken porcelain and uh, the sludgy slime of the juice that sometimes hangs around below urinals. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a giant toilet on wheels that just gets wheeled down the ramp. The and pomp, the pageantry. <laughs> <laughs> can only be the slickest stage of all. Uh, pipe down. Um, hey. hey. Um, and when the toilet gets to the ring, um, out crawls out a uh, 650 pound woman oh. who is wow. just uh, ev- just wet <laughs> and, and um, is wearing. Uh, what used to be a white uh, uh, boiler suit? Yeah, boiler suit. But now is obviously covered in various stains. And then I just slop into the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even use my hands, I just wiggle up and then <laughs> wail down. Magnificent. Oh, clap. <laughs> <laughs> How is anyone going to eliminate ground? <laughs> Can't get near it for the stench. Yeah. Making his way to the stage, the Spider Man. The older fans in the audience will recognise this from their childhood <laughs> as the <laughs> Turkish knockoff Spider Man <laughs> comes down to the ring, head to toe, in an actual Spider Man outfit, but it's with a Y, so <laughs> don't sue Marvel. Um, a, a, a man up on the stage holding a bit of rope waves to the kids and the older fans that recognise him. Got a bit of a paunch on him. Um, Maeve Delta would report later on this is actually the third incarnation of <laughs> Spider Man, uh, Pete. Uh, who took on the role after Dave died during the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> and so he swings himself down while he's got like silly string, like cans of silly string in his wrist, and he's just spraying it into the audience like the web. And he's swinging down and he lands into the ring, and then he gets with both of them and he goes, <laughs> and sprays out the silly string to all the kids in the audience. And everyone loves him. Spider Man! <laughs> Lead based silly string. Yay, Spider Man! I recognize him! <laughs> Making his way to the ring, Dragon Mask 4! <laughs> Dark! So, anime music starts to play immediately. There's, there's a sort of this like opening credits to a 70s anime manga cartoon series on the screen, and out of the mechanized spring from the, from the floor jumps. Dragon Mask for Dark, and he's wearing a green and black uh, mask which comes down into a, a dragon sort of cape. And this is the 70s Japanese cartoon series called Ultimate Ghost Max. <laughs> and he, this is the ninth guy to play him, uh, but you know, the most famous. And this is actually the Dark Universe version of Dragon Mask 4. It's Dragon Mask for Dark. <laughs> Often confused with Dragon Mask 4 Mech. <laughs> That's a different continuity one shot series. <laughs> he runs down to the ring and he dives through the first and second rope just like that. And he does a flip and he lands on his feet and he just stands there. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure we haven't got the mech? <laughs> <laughs> Making his way to the ring, the beast of the epiphany, Pontisaurus Fair! Oh, 
Hum. Hum. <laughs> Priests in <laughs> burgundy robes begin to walk out onto the ramp. The one in the front is swinging a censure. Behind it, a uh, sort of Pope Mobile esque vehicle is being driven in the centre in the sort of bulletproof box that seems more reinforced than usual. Stands a incredibly large creature that is wearing uh, beautiful white papal robes with gold filigree on them, but his head is scaled and horrible, his arms tiny little limbs. He's it's like he's 50% dinosaur, 50% the Pope, and 100% a wrestler. They take it all the way down to the rim as he goes. Uh, the Cardinals remove their hoods. They're Velociraptors. We go, they spread out around the ring. He starts to beat on the glass. He starts to beat the glass. He starts to thrash with his tail sticking out the back of his robes. The glass shatters. Everyone in the crowd goes, clever girl! And he climbs into the ring, ready for the match. Okay, we are going to roll 2d6 to see who is going to start with control. Oh, not me. All eight. 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 Nine. Seven. Hey! Oh. Okay, so on the ding of the bell, uh, Pontosaurus respects starts in control of the match. Ding, ding, ding! Pontosaurus has seen uh, somebody else wearing a face that looks a bit like a dinosaur and goes straight in for a mauling, just running across the ring, <laughs> limbs failing, <laughs> teeth gnashing. It's just going to be carnage. It's not a move. It is just attempting to rip you apart. Okay, that's all these rolls are just contested 2d6 rolls, so I assume it's Dragon Mask you're referring yes. to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, five. Uh, seven. Oh, five. Claim your soul in the name of our Lord and Savior. He's gonna pick, try, attempt to pick you up in his mouth and slam you down onto the canvas over and over again. I've got seven. I got ten. Oh, <laughs> he's too powerful. The college, uh, the college of carnivores that are on the outside are just. Tapping their nails on the floor, <laughs> along with the beat of me just mauling you. Slam, slam, slam. I now throw you into the corner out of the way and turn for the next victim. I'm going to go after Kudge Mulligan. <gasps> so I'm going to run in for a... Uh, I'm going to try and sweep you with the tail. Okay. Got a tail? Oh, yeah, that's I've a three. A, oh, it's an 11. Fex is big. Uh, so he, uh, Kudge, the, the tail whips round, the legs go straight down on the floor, and now just stamping. <laughs> that's another roll. All right. Oh, that's a ten. Or oh, nine. Yeah! I grab your tail and Super Mario style start swinging you around the ring, trying to hit every other wrestler in the Battle Royal. That nice is. Oh, that's a five. Mine's a five. Ooh, again? So, yeah, we'll say at this point you are still just swinging, 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 swinging. That's a ten. I've got a ten. <laughs> <laughs> still swinging. <laughs> that is in ten? Seven. Yeah! Okay, so I'm, I'm swinging you around and I try and hit you onto Dragon Mask. Again. That is a ten. I got a 10. God damn it! Oh, so we'll say Dragon Mask manages to duck out of the way at this point. All oh, right, I'm you're... going for the Spider Man. With a Y. That is that's a, a six. That's a oh. critical success. That's a critical success! <laughs> so actually, what I do is I. Uh... On a critical success, you can go straight into an elimination attempt. Oh, cool. In which case, I catch uh, the, um, the Dragon Mask and as soon as I just backdrop him over the ropes. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can I use an interruption yes, you to can. get out of that one? Well, using an interruption there. And now you're in control. One oh. of your three interruptions spent. Right. I go over the top rope, but I hang hold and I flip back over and launch myself across the ring towards Grout in just a, in just a head missile motion. That is the power of dark. And I headbutt you into the corner. I'm going to absorb it with my massiveness. Five. Oh, oh critical oh, fail! Oh, what? Um, that, that, is, that is a potential elimination on, on a critical fail, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. Headbutt connects the body and then knocks you over that top rope. You're going to have to uh, spend an interrupt. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend an interrupt to um, just do a uh, called the splashback, where I just grab onto the ropes and just hopefully just flop onto you in a splash. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. So you spend your interrupt to gain control, and yeah, roll for it. Nine. Nine. 
What do I do? Oh, uh, just roll. It's uh, contested, oh, right, yeah. Contested yeah. rolls. Ten. Yay! Oh! So the splashback comes back at me. I jump really high up in the air, like, <laughs> like ten feet high, and I come down and stomp on your back. Oh! oh God. Trampoline. <laughs> three. It's a three! three. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, a, that's a tie, so you're still in control. It's a one! Oh, oh, no! no. It's a critical fail! <laughs> um, yeah, so tell us how you counted that into an elimination. So, hang on, what did you do? You, you jumped on me. Yeah, you yeah. tried you to jump on me. Oh, yeah, but I, my body's just absorbed you. <laughs> oh. And it, you turned me. It just absorbed you. <laughs> and it grabs onto you. you and the, my like skin and muscle kind of wrap around your ankles. <laughs> like and then while you're standing, I just roll and try and crinkle your body into a knotted mess. <laughs> So on a, as, as it's a critical fail, you can turn this into an elimination attempt. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And as, as I, you're wrapped around me and you're wrapped around me like a new ugly boa, I'm just going to slide you off and throw you over. Obviously an interruption. Stop that from happening. <laughs> Back in control. Again, skin the cat up round. <laughs> Launch across <laughs> the other side of the ring. And headbutt Rex. Or Fex. 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 No. Oh, no! Oh, That's another mate. critical fail! <laughs> <laughs> Fex, turn us into an elimination. Okay, so as, he's fly, as he's flying across the ring, I go, and the frills on my cardinal's collar pop up, and I spit green mist into his face, and he misses the dive and goes almost straight out the other side of the ring over the top rope. <laughs> my last interruption to stop me from being eliminated. I can't I skin the cat again, but this time I only jump in and... Sit uh, down, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> because, because this is Dragon Mask for Dark, of course, not the mech version or the pure white version, I run no, back over to Fex and I use my vomit. Oh. It's not a mist, but it's a black vomit to counter the green mist. Oh. <laughs> Five. Five. Oh. We're just spitting each other now. Three. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the mist is too much for the vomit. It's okay, you're still in the ring. You're still in the ring, you're still man. Here. You're still in the ring. I don't uh, know how, so I don't having, know how much longer, mate. Having, <laughs> having missed him, I now go for my finishing manoeuvre, the mass extinction event. Oh. I pull out a small cracker, I put it into his mouth, I do the sign of the cross, and then I lift him up into a gigantic brain buster. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, critical success. Seven. Ten. Oh. His head implodes. <laughs> uh, you guys can also spend an interrupt to get on the action, or you yeah, can save it. I'm just, just happy just to see it. Yeah. Yeah. One tiny arm, I pick him up, and I just like, <laughs> sling him over the top rope. Go for it. Eight. Oh. oh. Wow. You're out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk us through it. Uh, it it's, imp it's an improbably strong, really small arm. <laughs> he just goes <laughs> flying in. The raptors, uh, the cardinals, swarm, and you just see the body disappear underneath these walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And Dragon Musk 4 is eliminated. Uh, Dragon oh! Musk <laughs> Dragon Musk 4 duck. You're still in control. Yeah. Fex turns back like around looking for the next <laughs> person to maul. <laughs> God, uh, <laughs> charges move. down the spider, just going straight for a headbutt to knock you down. With a Y. <laughs> oh! oh it's a critical fail. fail! It's a critical fail! Seven! <laughs> it is a full. It turns from a headbutt into a bite and a toss. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna spend one of my interruptions to stop that. And you're in control, Spider Man. Thank you. <sighs> Don't it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good use. Um, scared of you, but I'll come back to it. I turn to the grout and. Grout. Just grout. Well, the grout. In my world. The grout. <laughs> because older fans in the arena recognise this as the classic feud, the comic book feud <laughs> that had been booked many, many times over Brilliant. as the comic book superhero yeah. versus the comic book supervillain. And I'm like, oh, grout, you're back once again. <laughs> yeah, right, it is the Spider Man with a Y. <laughs> it's time to take you to the cleaners. And I run to try and do a Hurricane Rana. A spider can run her, if you will, with a Y. For a six. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. oh! Lands it. Oh. And then, so it sort of actually rolls you into the ropes, so then I'm going to go, oh, and run to get a big clothesline to try and roll, like, take you over the top rope. Oh, an elimination whoa, 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 whoa. attempt. Elimination attempt. 
It's a eight for me. Oh, well, obviously I'm going to stop that oh. uh, and just use my ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, mass and um, climb back over the rope. And I'm going to do a shower bomb. Oh. oh the shower bomb. The shower bomb. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Oh! oh it's a critical, critical fail. fail! And I did not. So it's an eight for me. Oh, it was critical fail. Yeah, I kind of counter it and just throw you back over the rope again. Well, I'm gonna interrupt that again. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna come back and um, I, I just, oh god, I've run out of um, puns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna uh, try and get. I'm just gonna swing myself back into the ring, come around behind you, flip you over, and do a bathroom stone. <laughs> it's a, a eleven Eight. from me. No, oh. so, no, nine from me rather. Oh, God damn it! Uh, so obviously reverse out of that. Crowd are going wild, and then I pull out my silly strings and I spray you in the yeah. face with them. <laughs> <laughs> and then with one big final attempt, the clothesline over the top rope for an elimination. Oh. Oh. It's an eight. eight versus. Oh! It's a critical success. Oh! oh right, amazing. Mm. Okie dokie. Well then, I come back into the ring and I go for I uh, um, grab you and spin you and go for my uh, finisher, which is the uh, tile driver. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also um, you can move that into elimination attempt. But a critical Just success. Just to get them down into the driver. You don't even need to roll on a crit success. You get a free elimination attempt. Okay, so put them down and then throw them. Oh, that's obviously. Hold on. <laughs> well, hang on. You might not. Oh, you, said you said I don't get a roll. It's oh, a critical, critical success. success. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm going to spend a thing to you know, avoid <laughs> that. <laughs> rules. Oh, the rules, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you keep putting your pen away, like. Like you won't need, need this again. <laughs> 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 Gonna win the match from here. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I'm so focused on finishing up this rivalry. Uh, so <laughs> I realise that my strip. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm going to try and do a, a drop kick this time to get you over the top rope of elimination. <sighs> and it's a nine. Oh. Four. Drop kicks. And you just sort of wobble, wobble, <laughs> wobble. You hit the ropes. <laughs> and oh, the momentum. <laughs> over the top row, both feet touch the floor, the crowd go, yeah, the Spider-Man has won once again as vanquished evil. <laughs> a clatty, oh sorry, go on, go for it. <laughs> you're, I've got you in control. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no, uh, no betrayal happening over here. <laughs> 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 Bully, uh, hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just getting in my presses. <laughs> oh well, now that I've seen you're doing that, I'm gonna try and silly string you! No! Oh, uh, oh, three! Oh, that's a critical oh, success. No. Oh. I rip the silly string off me. I take my barbells and I crunch them, snap them in half over my knee, smash you around the head with them, and throw you oh, over the top no. rope. I'm going to spend another thingy point. You now can put it away after this. Yeah, this is this is you done. No. <laughs> It'll make your return. Yeah. Um, so that's me back in control, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna go for another spider canrana on you, but this time I'm gonna try and do loads of revolutions. So I can go. Oh. Oh. All at the same time, spraying silly string out into the crowd. This is, <laughs> this is really like I'm, I'm really enjoying this because my vision's based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a six from me. Like a cat in the window. It's a five from me. Spinning round and round oh. and round. Oh. oh. Cartwheeling ah, across the ring. Uh, and then I'm going to turn my attention to you and try and drop kick you into the corner. <gasps> Critical no. success. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not you can't go touch well. Vex. That's not going to go well for me, is it? No. <laughs> I just do uh, a move called the Baptism of Fiery Destruction, which is just <laughs> a. Uh, we're using my mouth, power bomb. <laughs> just, and I just keep dunking you, dunking you, <laughs> dunking you, dunking you, and then go to throw you over the top right. And I think that's me eliminating. That is you eliminating. Yeah. Oh, the wow. Cardinals will eat well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's no I snap in. back to you. <laughs> Face the rapture. <laughs> right. It's the big hoss that's battle. Very good. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to, again, classic tactic. I don't think, I actually don't think Fex has tactics. It's just charging in and using his mouth. <laughs> I like it. Ten. Ten. Six. Yeah. You just start getting mauled. Uh, in the same time, I'm going to sort of ping in your arms and go for a big uh, back over the head, like oh, elimination. fisherman suplex All type right. thing. Eight. 
Five. Oh, I so am strong. going to interrupt, and I use my acrobatic prowess that I learned in the caravan world, and I hoop onto the top rope. I go, I do a bit of flexing. Ha, hoo, ha, ha. Hey, hi to the women. And then I grab one of my barbells, and I reach it high in the air, and I bring it down on top of you, hoping that it strikes you enough like a meteor and gives you PTSD, oh, so no. that I can leave you extra vulnerable. And that is a three. That is a six. <laughs> Bully. <laughs> <laughs> as you, I just dodge out of the way as you land, whip the tail, whip you uh, off your feet, and then just go with bite the leg, squeeze really hard, and just go to sling you over the top rope. Oh my god. That's a six. That's an 11. Oh, oh shit. Hey. All right. Fex is so much better than Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Your interruptions I know. Left. So, I, I fly <laughs> out of the ring. I land on my hands and just start doing handstands. <laughs> I'm just like walking around the, uh, the ring and then I flip myself back onto the top rope. Uh, and I jump and I'm going for the cannonball, which is I crunch myself into a little ball and just try and squash you. Uh, that is a six. Nine. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I catch you perfectly balled up in my mouth. And I start <laughs> chewing. <laughs> uh, three. Uh, that's an 11. I've been successfully chewed. You can't beat Fex. Uh, Spitting you out. Gotcha. Here we go. Is that an elimination attempt. Yeah. That's a nine. Six. Oh, okay. So um, it's not quite a strong enough spit. Uh, I land on the top rope. I rebound like a catapult back towards you. Still in ball form. <laughs> <laughs> the human cannonballs. And that is a nine. Five. Yes. Uh, I So I clatter against you and I pick you up and I uh, press you above my head and I start doing squats and then throw you over the top rope. Oh. That's a nine. Four, so I'm going to use an interruption. <gasps> oh, oh, the first one. Oh, Lifelines instead. Dino, yeah. dino it's uh, as I'm flipped over the top rope, the cardinals swarm and gather beneath me and they hold me up in the air. No. They walk me around the ring. <laughs> they throw me back in, back in. You whisper under your breath, they do move in hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I charge you down once more with the mouth. The mouth. Uh, six. Uh, that is a seven of oh. rage. Oh. Um, so I don't it's have many puns now. left. Um, <laughs> I, I grab you and I go for my finisher, which is the gentleman's relish, which is a wine, which is a punch with theatrics, <laughs> old school. So I wind up like Donkey Kong and Smash oh. Brothers. Oh. And then when I start flashing, I press B <laughs> and bang! I punch you over the top rope. Oh. That is a six. Six from me. Here we go again. Oh. That's a six. That is a nine. Oh. Ah. I uh, dodge the punch using sort of weird tiny arm Tai Chi. Just use, <laughs> use your own momentum to drag you and you flip yourself over the top rope. Nice. All right. That's a three. Mine's a three. Oh. Oh. That's a nine. Mine's an eight. Oh. Hey. So I, yeah, I, I grab onto the top rope and I am directly upside down in a perfect swimmer formation. <laughs> and I uh, fall backwards, grab you around the neck with my massive, massive thighs. <laughs> and I try and Charlotte flair you over the, out of the ring. <laughs> it's perfectly plausible. Uh, eight, seven. So, so as I go as I go over, I'm spending interruption. Oh as I God. go over, the tail lands on the floor first. <laughs> <laughs> I let you let go, thinking you've knocked me out, and I begin to pogo around the <laughs> ring on pope go. I begin to <laughs> go around the ring on my tail, climbing back in. Uh, I rip the hat off. <gasps> We're wearing the the full paper. I'm pissed now. I rip the hat off, chuck it down, oh, and. Wow begin to bear down on you, trying to force you back into the corner. Okay. Uh, I've got a seven. Eight. Okay. Okay, so getting you in the corner, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna push you up onto the top rope. I'm gonna climb up after you, and I'm going for a superplex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't have a name for it. I just want to do one. It's a critical fail. Oh it's a God. three. So. Well, that beats Snake Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is there adverse effects to that? Um, they're just it's an automatic fail. Um, so you, no matter what's happening, you go over the rope. You still have an interrupt left. I guess I bounce. Well, I just do. I'm just. Well, can I just change it to doing it to the outside then? <laughs> just, I'm just gonna tip you off the top. Absolutely. Where you go. Uh, I. Okay, my final lifeline gone. I land with the tips of my moustache <laughs> on the floor. And it's, it's the, it's the mass, most uh, muscular moustache in the business. It walks me around the ring and it flips me back into the ring. And I, uh, I pick you up and I try and go uh, once more for the gentleman's relish. Perhaps Ooh. going to the pool once too often. Seven. Ten. Yay! Oh. Uh, I counter that, and as you as you fly in, I actually just have already pulled out the blessed cracker. In your mouth it goes. Oh no! And then straight up into the mass extinction event and the brain buster. Oh. Six. That is an eight. Oh. Uh, I counter the brain buster with uh, by clattering one of my very masculine. Thighs down <laughs> right across your dome, and I try and I'm I'm running on fumes at this point. Just just literally just try and uh, over the top rope. That is a seven. Mine's a four. <gasps> yep. Last lifeline. Oh, oh, sudden death. Death. oh my god, I'm so excited. Death. So as I go over the top rope, I land on the apron and I drag you over with me. So oh. we're both on the oh. apron. Oh. Oh. Uh, I just go for the cheeky tail sweep in an attempt to knock you to the apron and have you roll off. Oh, this is it! That's a five. Eight. Oh. Oh. This is so intense. Boom. And then you roll off. Ding, ding, ding! Your winner! The Beast of the Epiphany, <laughs> Pontesaurus Fair! <laughs> Life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> and as the ring is now empty except for Pontosaurus Spex, the uh, life-size statue of Colossal Russell <laughs> is lowered into the centre of the ring for you to claim as your prize. Oh, amazing. I, uh, I bite it in an attempt to see if it's chocolate or meat, I guess. <laughs> uh, roll. Uh, that's an eight. It's not chocolate, it's metal. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get it loaded up into the Pope Mobile and off we go. <laughs> Taking the carcasses of him and him and a few other people. Uh, so you're, um, what are the College of Carnivores? Uh, the, the College of Carnivores, So yeah. they, they load the statue into the Pope Mobile for you and drive it up the ramp and out of the ring. Uh, that is that is exactly what I wanted that to be. That was, wow. that was, a, that was a stupid start. <laughs> it is now time for the City British Wrestling Tag Team Championship match. Yes. Let's see if metal is thicker than blood. I agree with you. Thank you, I've already sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. You and I have been working for this for a long time. Ding ding ding, your winners! The precious metals, silver bro and golden Joe! I thought you like it was a little bit in the way you looked and just behaved that it felt like you were jealous of me. What? I love my brother more than anything. He's helped me out from thick and thin. Consume the contents of these bowls, and you will be able to face your demons. <laughs> I wasn't involved in this, I was wrestling sand. You saved me! <laughs> oh, you saved me the, the sand! Tried to kill me. You tried to get me too, man. Oh, but you fought it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yours. Bro, oh, Joe, bro, Joe, 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 Joe. I'm just gonna go over the top rope, but not really thinking. I'm gonna no. go over the top no. rope and jump down. <laughs> bro, and try and bro. take her out. I'm so close to to winning the match. I'm so close. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your special guest. <laughs> <referee>. <laughs> But just a little bit of advice. It looks a bit conflicted there. Can't come second all your life. I know he's, he's great right. advice. It's just such great advice. And I think the most effective way to remind you is with 
a childhood photo montage. Thanks, Sam. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah, but that's you know, it's, it's fine. And after a while, it sort of you made me think you are kind of a bit of a loser. Making my name feel a bit of a second placer as well, just by saying it. We are. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. We are. Yeah. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! The winners of this match will claim the City British Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Making their way to the ring from a building site in London, the Constructive Bombs. <laughs> loud beep, 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 beep of heavy machinery as a large churning cement mixer starts to trundle down the ramp. Hanging on either side with one hand are the work boot, welding glove, high vis jacketed bodies of the constructor bombs. These two rock solid, low center of gravity, unlock downable tag team champions. As they make their way to the bottom of the ramp and jump off the side of the truck, you see in the center of the ring lies a huge, granite cube about 10 feet by 10 feet. The bombs climb up the steps, hop over the ropes and just start pounding this lump of granite with their bare fists. About two minutes pass and by the time they're finished and nothing but rubble and granite dust lies by their feet, they have pounded the shape of a giant championship belt in the middle of the ring. <laughs> they both pick it up together and wrap it around their joint waists. <laughs> Take in the atmosphere around them. Burn. Drop the belt and start stamping it into powder with it. Oh. Disrespect. They kick the little last extra bits of dust out of the ring, fold their arms, and look up the ramp, waiting for their undeserving challenges. Nothing undeserving about metal. There's <laughs> <laughs> another t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing undeserving about metal. Making their way to the ring from little glittering Reading, the precious metals! So rather than Joe's usual entrance, the smoke's still there, the lasers are there, but it's not the stock footage of Joe helping out people in the community and in business and in sports. It's that photo montage. It's the lovely him photo montage. And he's bro. And it goes through their life of when they were kids, when Silver Bro held Golden Joe for the first time, when they would wrestle in the backyard trampoline outfit, at school, when they finally got into CBW, showing how they progressed through the years, how they fought and sweat together. Because they're gonna become the CBW Tag Team Champions. Here we are, bro. Yes, we are, bro. Pose as we walk down the ramps and say our names in unison of Bro! Joe! Joe! Bro! Bro! Joe! I'm gonna pause you there. I'm gonna take one of your hands. Bro! Bro! Joe! Joe! Bro! And then we're in the ring and we're both on opposite turn buckles and we're doing the Joe and then bro. Joe, bro. Bro. Joe, Joe, bro. 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 No promo this time, but I would like to see just a moment between the two of you. No mics, no audience, just this last personal moment between Bro and Joe before the bell dings and the match starts. It's time, Bro. It's always been our time. The only thing that's blowing up today is their title reign. And we're gonna be golden together. Yeah, you don't have to be silver for much longer, but we made all those t-shirts, so we will keep you as silver, Bro. I think that's <laughs> but you a smart will marketing have move. For gold round your waist. Yes, tag team gold. <gasps> Kick some ass. Let's kick some pricks. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, quick admin question. Who's starting to do the wrestling? 
I'm starting. Who, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Um, mm, all right. Uh, Gerda is the legal wrestler for the constructor bumps. You know Gerda. She's the big heavy one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one. Well, I'm looking at her. I'm going to amp up the crowd a bit first. You know, this is a, this is a big tag team it's a championship match. Me and my bro, he's going to be on the apron. I'm just going to be in the ring. Going to keep ramping up the crowd. Uh, roll and look. That is only five. <laughs> I can. Don't save me yet. I was going to say. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Every year old first thing immediately. I got you. <laughs> there is. Weirdly and really, I guess, disappointingly, there is something about this wholesome dynamic between the two of you that the crowd are just not quite picking up on. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. It's okay. We'll win them over. And we're going to win those tag belts. Sorry, you got this. Make okay. a quick work roll for me now. Well, it's minus one. Oh, oh my god, oh my a critical god. fail! <laughs> so as you are standing there, um, trying to amp up the crowd and getting a, a much more <laughs> muted response than you expected, you feel a heavy metallic hand grab you on the back of the neck and pull you off the ropes, boom, oh. onto the mat. Um, you look up and see the snarling face of Gerda. She opens her mouth and the sound of a pneumatic drill just burrows out from behind her throat and she starts stamping on you. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to try and grab her, her foot w with my strength and I'm going to use the rope to push her up and over. Okay, um, roll on power. Okay, that's minus one. Hey, that's uh, that's a nine. Hey, 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 hey. hey. amazing. Somehow, me. somehow, you managed to muster enough physical strength to push this heavy booted foot, this thickly muscled leg, up off your chest, up into the air, and woof! You see the body of Gerda start to bend and buckle and fall over the rope slightly. I'm gonna kip up, and I'm gonna use that momentum of the kip up to do a twirling forearm into her face. Go for it. Um, that's gonna be ooh, twirling forearm. That's pretty flashy. Look. Um, if you can give it, a, if you can give it a name. It's the it's the bro arm. It's the Joe arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the four Joe. The four Joes. The four Joe. It's the twirling four Joe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe just the one just for this. <laughs> it's the golden the L Joe. Joe. It's golden Joe. Um, <laughs> add, add one look for this. That's a weak <laughs> pun. Oh. That's it. Dominate! That's, uh, that's, 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 that's ten. Boom! Uh, yeah, with that, um, what's it called again? Uh, you know, the Forjo. Yeah, the Forjo. Yeah. <laughs> with your signature Forjo, on yeah. which the crowd also don't seem to quite recognise. <laughs> um, the next we go. What is up with this crowd? And woof, bam, <laughs> off the rope onto the mat. Yeah, so now they're down, I'm going to use this to, because, I mean, we're in the match and we need to win the match. But the crowd weren't, re you know, the, I, I assume they were still recovering from the emotion of that entrance because we spent a lot of time on that, oh, we did. mainly my idea. And I'm going to get up to the, the turnbuckle where Bro is and I'm going to start getting a, a Joe chart going. Roll and look. They're back in with me, it's ten. <laughs> Joe, 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 So I'm Joe, hearing this Joe, Joe, and I, I start Joe, pointing Joe, at Bro. Joe. And everyone starts chanting for bro. Bro, bro. Yeah, bro. we're going to end up on a tag. Bro. Let's see. Um, roll on, roll on. Look, you can for this. I can. Yeah, you're out to legally. You can roll on his look. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's an eleven. It's thirteen. Bro, 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 bro. bro. And bro. I'm going to tag bro. him in. Bro, bro. Yeah. And as, as bro gets tagged in, Gerda tags in Pylon. Pylon makes her way into the ring, cracks her stony metallic knuckles, and makes eyes with you. Not having it. Ooh. Headlock! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the headlock. Wrenching it in. Really wrenching that headlock okay, in. Okay, roll on power. <laughs> it's a uh, six! <laughs> <laughs> you, get that, you get that arm around her neck, but she, with sheer force of her own power, pulls your arm off her neck. Stretches it out, wraps it around your neck, so now your arm, oh, your no. neck is wrapped in your own arm. And oh. she just starts squeezing. A roll on, roll on power for this. Uh, that'll be ten. Um, yeah, you can count her out of this. I would just, I'm just going to, uh, she's around me. So I'm just going to sort of like snap mirror her over. Ooh, ooh, flashy. Thank wow. you. <laughs> and when she's, and when she's all like in a sitting position, I'm just going to kick her as hard as I can in the spine. <laughs> oh, oh. Roll on, um, Roll on real for that. Oh, smeg. That's minus two. 
I know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I realise that now. Where does he get that reaction for kicking in the spine when I try and punch a woman in the back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not good, mate. It's, 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 it's one. Yeah, your, your big boot <laughs> connects with her spine the and the, uh, the leather in your shoe splits as it just can't seem to get through how heavy and dense these bones are. Um, Oh, which one is it? It's Pylon. 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 <laughs> uh, Pylon grabs you by the ankle, um, stands up straight, lifts you up, and is now hanging you upside down by the ankle. Oh An upside down God. version of position you're quite familiar with. And she just starts pounding. Hammering down blows on your massive. stomach. Uh, I want to try and catch one of them. Uh, and just like just squeeze it really hard so it makes it go like ah, sure you, you can roll and, on so essentially I'm wondering whether it's just drop me oh it's good it's oh, 12 yes bro right. yeah, you catch that fist you start squeezing you see Pylon's face <laughs> contort her teeth grind um, and she drops you uh, lets go of your ankle and drops you onto the mat I stand back up I point upwards at the sky to make her look up and then lock in their headlock. Yo! Oh, oh, so we're going to have you roll on, on look to try and distract her. Here's look. Oh, it's, it's good. It's, it's 13. She looks up. You're welcome. Headlock. Wrench in that headlock and try and whip her into the rose for... <gasps> oh. oh! Shoulder! The Whoa! Roll, yeah, roll on power. Oh, it's, it's five. <laughs> ah. Um, yeah, you whip, you go in for the shoulder, and once again, boom, it just cannot knock these immovable objects off their feet. Um, can, I, can I yell some encouragement yes. at this point? Yes. Stop being so flashy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in which case, here, I've got a plan there. I'm going to walk over, I'm going to try and tag you in. Do you have to Ooh. roll for this? Yes, you absolutely oh. do. Let's have you roll on your heat with Joe for this. Plus three. Plus three. Easy. Uh, that'll be uh, nine. Cool. So we'll tag in. Tag in. So here's my plan. We'll whip her against the rope and we'll do a double shoulder block. <gasps> nice. All right. There's too many moving parts. <laughs> 10. 12. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, what, do you call, what, do you call, what do you call the double shoulder block? Brothers in arms. Oh. Yes. Brothers in oh. shoulders. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we Beautiful. get the crowd to be able to be like, oh. Oh. And she rips in. And Pylon is knocked to the mat. This is wrestling. <laughs> um, Pylon starts to uh, crawl away across um, to the other corner to try and tag out. She's yours, man. I'm going to hop over her and give a forjo, which is <laughs> my move, remember? It's, yeah, I remember. Gerda, Gerda on the apron. Go for it. Stop that tag from Rolling happening. Power. It's a seven. Um, yeah, boom, you connect straight with Gerda's jaw, stumbles off the corner, um, down outside of the mat, and... Uh, uh, Pylon's hand just whiffs past before they can tag anything. And I'm going to hop up onto the second rope and do a sort of jump round splash onto Pylon. Ooh. That's pretty... F what am I rolling on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done the maths and it can, doesn't matter. <laughs> can anything help you? <laughs> Three. <laughs> um, as you leap in for that splash, um, uh, Pylon gets to her feet and catches you mid-air. Um, moves her hands across your body to try and pull you into a sort of straight, rigid um, uh, line, I guess, into a gold <laughs> bar, if you will. Yes. Into a rigid gold bar um, and brings you down, uh, boom, against her knee for a uh, tilt well shoulder breaker. Oh, oh, oh shoulder, shoulder I just used. What a dick. Oh. Well, I'm just going to... Because what I need now... It's also about creating the best match experience for the fans, isn't it? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be beaten up for a bit. So, um, while you're milking that, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Pylon puts her boot down on your shoulder, starts grinding it um, with all of her strength, and as she does it, turns her head to make eye contact with Bro, and just looks at you in the eyes as she grinds her boot into your brother's shoulder. Ah! The same shoulder that brought you so close together just moments ago. <laughs> it will, it is, you constructive prick. <laughs> is, it, is it Pylon? Uh, yes, yeah. this one is Pylon. Pi dumb. Nice. Well, well, oh, hold on, roll on your own look. See if that works. <laughs> oh, it's nine. Oh. <laughs> you see, she goes. Tag <laughs> butts are coming home to a family. And off the back of that burn, she brings a heavy fist down, boom, into Joe's oh. jaw. Oh. His beautiful jaw. My golden jaw. <laughs> I. <laughs> 
I, I stand up after that. That's a money maker that she's hit right there. And it hurt. So I am going to sort of hulk up a bit, gold up, and I'm going to hit the golden shower. The golden shower is a power roll, but go for it. That's a zero on power. It's a seven. Hey! Seven. So, Joe, 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 and on the ten, on the ropes, Joe, 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 Joe. She's down on the ground, and I'm gonna. I think a pipe is it Gerda who was on the outside. Gerda's on the outside, yeah. And she's back up now, so four Joe onto her. Um, grow on power. Just because it's kind of like a hot tag run. That's eight. Boom! Yeah. Um. Once again, just as she got back onto the um. Uh, back of the ring again, you knock her back off the corner. Uh, Pylon is still on the ground now. Um, clearly, uh, there's sort of ten separate dents in her body from all those points <laughs> where the golden yes. shower is connected. Starts to get to her feet. And I'm going to see her, and I'm going to go for the full golden, <gasps> which is the, the, the full Nelson submission lock. The move that saved me. Yes, the move that saved my bro. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um, cool. Go for it. Roll. Roll on... Um, Six. What, what can I, I can, on look? Okay. Oh no, my silver bro heat, surely. So two things are going to happen here. Um, first, yeah, you can add your silver bro heat. So nine. Yeah, um, you lock in the full golden. Um, you have got a solid, firm grip on pylon here. She cannot get free. However, you look, um, the referee is, is focused entirely at this point in time um, on your amazing execution of the full golden. Um, what he doesn't notice, but what you pick up on is while you are presumably euphoric, I guess. Yeah, cheering um, him on. Uh, coming up behind you. The one, oh, God damn it, Gerda. Yeah, Gerda, Gerda comes up behind you. God um, damn it. And you just, yeah, as, as, as your eyes are locked on your brother and you're filling with pride. Yes, mate. Two heavy hands just bring themselves around the side of your skull Ow. and pull you off the side of the rope, oh. sort of the side of the ring, pull you down to the mat and then just start squeezing your skull. Ow. Oh, can I power out of it? Uh, you can try. <laughs> yeah. I can, it's 12, not natural. You, yeah, you managed to... <laughs> it's a dirty 12. Yes. <laughs> dirty 12. Uh, you, you, you managed to briefly pull um, Pylon's hands up here, and in the moment the two of you are, yeah. are locked in combat, you are seeing this in the moment as you go for the full gulp, you're seeing, yeah, the referee is not taking his eyes off you, not taking off this, this really excellent piece of this. professional wrestling. I've got it. Tap her out. I'm seeing what's happening to Bro, and I'm looking at my own full golden hold and it's sort of making me deal with some memories I thought I had pushed down and my grip starts <gasps> to loosen oh, no. and I'm distracted I don't know what's going to happen which I imagine leaves an opening for pylon it does leave an opening for pylon um, I'm going to need you to roll on work for this this is uh, it's five yeah, as 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 you lose your um yeah lose control over the full golden, your your grip starts to shake. These memories flood back into your brain. Um, you just lose focus for a, a second, which is all it takes um, for Pylon to get her big strong arms around your body, lift you up, um, turn you upside down, and get you ready for a. There's not even a pun on this one. A pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, the moment it's when you're still locked in combat yeah. with... Uh... So what I'd like to do is I'd like to move my head forward because she's still trying to push so that she sort of smacks her own fist together and makes her go, ah, that's my attempt. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Dynamic <laughs> offense. Um, yeah, right. I guess that's, that's kind of tricky. Yeah. That's, a, that's a work. That's a work roll. Yeah. Uh, that is six. Come on, bro. Um, including your modifier. Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. Uh, unfortunately, you bungle it, and those two fists connect together. Boom! Oh, on the side of your head. Um, there's a crack, and a little bit of um, blood starts to trickle oh. out of your ear. Um, you, you you see this upside down as you are brought up for the um, pile driver. I'm gonna I, have you roll on. Yeah, you're going to try and get out of this. I'm going to try and get out of it. Yeah. This is going to be a. This going to be a work roll to counter a pile driver. I'm going to try sure. and you know like bring my left heel back so it kicks her in the head. And that's an eight. Well, on a work seven work? still. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's still a success. Yeah. Um, yes, you pull out just in time. Uh, Managed to connect with the back of the head with your foot. Uh, I get myself up right off that. I go for the full golden again, get it properly locked in this time. Lock it in, bro! And I hit, debuting the first time, the golden plex. Which is a, hard, <laughs> it's a full Nelson, so it's like a stat dragon. Amazing. You can roll and look for that. 
It's Ooh. ten. Yeah. 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 Talk us through how the golden plex looks. It's uh, I've got her in the full golden, which is a full Nelson, and I just <laughs> suplex her back. So she lands really badly on her neck. I look at Bro, and you, are you still? I'm, I'm, I've got this, but I'm just. I'm, the, my eyes are telling you, keep going. I look at you. I look at the possible pinning combination because I know how devastating that move is. First time I've hit it, <laughs> but I run over to you. I dive through the ropes and I try and save Bro. Okay, oh so God. as you guys are locking sure. eye contact at that point in time. Um, that does leave you vulnerable to more work from Gerda. Yes. So I'm going to need you to roll on, uh, roll on work for this. Oh, it's yes. good. It's twelve. Daddy's twelve. Amazing. Yeah, Gerda tries to um, uh, tries to get your arm and twist your arm behind you and starts trying mm -hmm. to sort of roll you up into a ball. Um, but yeah, you, you're able to maneuver your way out of it in a um, dazzling display of technical wrestling. And almost set her up so that when Joe does his dive out to the ring. He can wipe her out. It was almost it was almost like we timed it. Okay, you can roll on your heat for this. But, but the way you've positioned her means she slightly moves across and I land I, instead of my you know head which I'm going for, it's all on the injured shoulder. For <gasps> so with heat that's ten. With your heat for with your heat for um with bro. Bro, yeah. Uh, but what you're trying to do is, is just execute another sh a shoulder dive, right? Is that what you're going for? Yes. Well, I was going for a dive, but because Bro pushed her not where I was aiming for, I land on my shot. It's a shoulder one, but the shoulder's injured. Um, that's 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 probably going to be a power roll for that for a shoulder dive. Oh, snake eyes! Critical fail. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Reroll it. I can use my reroll. You can. For you to reroll it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you want to see what happens with a, a fail? <laughs> it's a nine. Yes. yes. So Ooh. yeah, you leap from the ring. Uh, your shoulder connects with um, Gerda. <laughs> <laughs> your shoulder connects with Gerda. You feel this this wincing blast of pain in your shoulder. You think you are gonna black out with the agony. It is so severe. But you look at your brother in the eye. <sighs> You feel that brotherly pride and strength course through you. You push through the pain, and in this um, sort of half-second moment um, between the this, this sharp blast of agony and this moment of um, just like really summoning all the strength you can, you manage to knock uh, Gerda to the floor, um, freeing your brother from Gerda's grasp. The two of you now on the outside of the rope. Um, Gerda is on the floor outside, and uh, Pylon is lying on the mat inside the ring. You okay? I'm gonna be okay. The shoulder's busted, though. Can I tag me in? Get back in. I tag with the other arm, of course. I tag bro in. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, get up onto the second rope. The crowd know what's coming. They're already chanting, Datsun, Datsun, Datsun. And I jump off the second rope to do the double axe handle, the Datsun axe handle, uh, onto, uh, onto pylon. Yes. Yes, yes, onto pylon, yeah. Uh, power? Uh, power of the double axe handle, yeah. Uh, that'll be a uh, eight. No, sorry, ten. Yeah, boom! It connects beautifully. Um, you hear something for the first time since you've um, started wrestling uh, this tag team. You hear something crack and break inside uh, Pylon's body. I feel a weakness is here, so it's time to signal the end. Sorry, I split my hair, it's my eye. So to signal for the end uh, and set him up for the silver spooner. Hook the arm over, lift a high up into the air, start the flex, point to my brother, because I'm using a good shoulder. And I'm showing, man, this is for you. This is for you. And I'm going to attempt to do the Silver Spooner. It what? Just, it's your spare, uh, your finisher, right? My finisher, yeah. So it's just natural, right? That's just a straight 2d6 on the Silver Spooner. Oh, it's a five! It's a five! It's a five! Do I have any re-rolls? What are my re-rolls again? Uh, you, give, you gave it to your brother. I did give oh, it to my brother! You gave it to your brother. I did give it to my brother. As you lift them up over your shoulder, ready for the Silver Spooner, um, Pylon's eyes just snap back open again. Um, she, just by focusing on how much she weighs, just forces all that density and mass to make you drop to your knees and drop to the mat. She rolls out of your hands, um, backs up against the turnbuckle, curls into a ball and goes for uh, one of the Constructor Bomb's signature moves, the Wrecking Ball, and just barrels towards you like a boulder um, across the <laughs> ring. <laughs> We're going to have you roll on uh, work to avoid this. 
Uh, that'll be 12. Dirty 12. 12. Amazing. You yeah. zip out of the way just in time. I'm actually, I'm going to run away like Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to jump up onto the top rope and do like a Daniel Bryan, uh, Daniel Bryan flip over her. So she sort of collapses into the corner. Amazing. Go for it. That's going to be your roll on work for that kind of acrobatics. Yes, Meg. I thought I already had. It's a seven. Actually, um, it's actually an eight. That's enough. Yeah. Um, you yeah, you, you, you uh, jump under the boulder itself. You do an amazing flip and the full uh, momentum and velocity of Pylon collides with the turnbuckle and the, the, the ball unfolds and she's once again lying on her, mac, on, on, her mat, on her back on the mat. In which case I'm going to try and do a cannonball in the corner onto her. As this is happening, um, outside the ring I'm going to need you to roll on power for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> the uh, six. Um... <laughs> Uh, where is your attention focused at this point in time? I'm watching my bro, but I'm mainly concerned about my shoulder. Oh, awesome. At that point in time, uh, you feel something heavy and hard. Boom! Pow into your shoulder. Oh, as, um, one. Yeah, oh. as Gerdon just hits you with a solid, hard, closed fist punch right into your wounded shoulder. Oh, where's the... In ref! <laughs> I've thrown um, off the apron Focused then. on the ring. Yeah, I've thrown off the apron and I kind of <sighs> hobble over to the medics at ringside and start getting checked out there. I'm kind of out of the match at this point. What? Okay. Oh no. Um, so, uh, my cannonball? Yeah, um, uh, so, yeah, she is uh, unconscious once again, lying flat on the mat. Yeah, okay, in which case I'm going to try for the silver spooner again. Uh, just sort of, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my brogue, but I know that we've got to win this match, and we've got to win it. I've got to win it for him, I've got to win it for dad, win it for the family. So, I'm going to hoist her up for the silver spooner again. And it's a seven! Is that good enough? Um, that is a success. Yeah. I'm finish it. Yes, take us through the Silver Spooner. So you up into the air, no time for the flexing, just power down with the, uh, the, the jackhammer, slamming right into the mat, and I hook the leg for the pin. You're going to go for the pin? I'm going for the pin. Oh, it's a nine! The ref <laughs> runs in. One. Two. This is not a slow count, it's just dramatic slow motion. <laughs> And three! Oh! Yeah! Ding, ding, ding! Your winners and new tag team <laughs> champions! <laughs> the precious metal! Instantly run out of the ring, check that my bro's okay. Um, the audience start right. chanting, bro, 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 okay, bro, bro, shoulder. bro, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. We, we, we well, well done, we, we won. Let's get in the ring, let's celebrate. Yeah, yeah. We get in the ring and we celebrate. And you know, I'm actually holding up the title above my head now. Seems like, but then I sort of remember, like, oh, ow, yeah, that hurts. It's supposed to hurt. But mate, sometimes I forget which arm I'm meant to hold up the title with. <laughs> and I'm looking across at bro, you know, sort of Randy Savage uh, when he picks up Miss Elizabeth, very briefly. But now I'm back to celebrate him. We won it. We won we it. Won man. it we won it. it. We won it. We won it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tag champs, mate. We did that together. We did do it together. We, we are, are the tag, tag team champions. Tag team champions. We are. Yeah. yeah. We are. As you celebrate and raise the belt high above your heads, um, can I have you both just make a straight 2d6 roll? That'll be a 5. 11. Um, you are distracted and, and filled with, with pride and happiness and adulation for your brother and, and joy at this joint success you found together. Um, you notice, standing at the top of the ramp, with his arms folded in his platinum suit, Platinum Pete. He meets your gaze, looks you in the eye, just starts very slowly shaking his head. Just putting your shades on and averting your gaze. He starts to come down the ramp. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> Let's have you roll again. Uh, five again. Oh, uh, yep. You, you had. Oh no, you, you've clocked him now. Okay. Um, just making his way down the ramp towards the ring. Bro is oblivious to this. So around with the crowd. <laughs> the 
the sound of his voice from last week pops into your memory. Don't disappoint me, Joe. Do not disappoint your father. Roll one more time. It's an eight. Uh, you, uh, clock, Platinum Pete, at the bottom of the ramp now. Dad's here! <laughs> Dad! Dad, get in the ring with us! We won the tag belts! We're, we're tag team champions! We won! That's what you wanted us to do! We won it! We won it for you! We won it for, we won it for us! We won it for the family! He steps up the steps, over the top rope, into the ring, where the two of you are. Puts a hand on your shoulder. Can I interrupt? Yeah. Can I hit him over the head with the tag? Oh! <laughs> yes. Um, roll on your heat with your brother. It's nine. It's <gasps> ten, actually. So. <clears throat> Boom! Just as he um, rests one hand on Bro's shoulder and turns to face you, the belt collides with his skull and knocks him to his knees. What do you think you're doing, Joe? I'm now gonna start doing the golden shower on him. Got <laughs> a really, like, slow one, and I'm crying. You can't see, the, but you can see the, the tears coming down. And I do every single punch up until the 10 one, and then I run the ropes very sadly. And I come back and look him one more time. It's gonna be the one that knocks him out, because I've got the belt now and I'm going to hit him again in the head. Uh, roll. In fact, we're going to say halfway through the golden shower, you obviously see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, bro? I'm just, I'm like, I'm like head on hands, just, I, I don't know what to do. Obviously, I know I've got to finish the move first before I really get involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's ruined the streamership. But yeah, I just got my head in my hands, just looking at this drama and falling in front of me. My, my brother is hitting my dad. And you're just watching it? I'm just, I'm stunned. I'm stunned for, I'm stunned for the moment. Okay, um, roll and look and finish the golden shower. Is that a reroll? It's cocked to reroll, yeah. So that's uh, ten. On the tenth punch, connects straight with Platinum Pete's jaw. <laughs> his head snaps back, his eyes roll to the back of his head, and boom, he falls unconscious on the mat. And, and that's when I, I, I now hold him back and sort of grab him. Like, what, are, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? Get off me. What are, no, you can't, no, you can't, we're brothers, we can work through this. Why, what are you doing? Get off me. I'm just going to walk to the back with the, the belt just by my side, just holding it low. Is there more, you, like going just up the ramp and just... Walking out, walking out. I'm just, I'm just going to check on, check on Dad. He is um, completely unconscious. Uh, what medics? Get the medics in here. Where's the, the, the hospital staff that was to save the milkman? Get them all out here. We need. To, uh, there's another dad that's hurt out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll on. Uh, just roll on. Look for me. That'll be a five. Um. Uh. Yes. Yeah, some some medics. A uh, fight nurse comes in. Um. With his with his one handed stretcher. Um. Makes his way down the ramp. Makes his way into the ring. Starts trying to maneuver your dad onto the stretcher. Um, he is still completely out cold at this point. I'm just gonna uh, uh, walk out with him. Just, just walk out with Dad. Just make sure everything's okay. All right. So as Fight Nurse carries your dad on the stretcher up the ramp, and you walk by his side, um, just as he reaches the top of the ramp, um, Pete's eyes uh, snap open. He looks up at you. gestures for you to come really close and whisper something in your ear. Goodness. <laughs> and then passes out and is carried up the ramp and out the back by Fight Nurse. I'm just, 
I, I, I can use to, to walk alongside. And we'll leave it there. Whoa. It's now time for a very special retirement match. Let's see if milk is thicker than blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry, it's family only. These are family. <laughs> I've been trading him in wrestling for many years. He is my finest protege. And I was raised by a good woman. I thought that milk is meant to be thicker than water. You've spilt enough milk. I was teaching you the Milky Way. <laughs> Jeez, Dad. I want to go out on my own terms. <laughs> Cow come, you won't listen to me. Where were you this morning? Where were you right? Where were you when I was getting my... My next match will be my retirement match. If I lose, I have to leave the company. They said I'm not good enough anymore. I'm too old. I'm too slow. Tony, maybe they're right. <gasps> right come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Put that towel down, lad. You feel something go in your arm. You feel something go in your knee. You feel something go in your back. Weird. Milk seems to leak from places where milk should never leak from. Boom, 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 boom. Your <sighs> winner, the Milk Man. Drink it in, you beautiful bastards. If you try to wrestle again, you might very well die. <gasps> Doris, you're gonna have to lie down for this one. We need to test <laughs> dummy. Anything for my boys? Milk mixed with blood trickling from Strawberry the milk, man. It's <laughs> strawberry. Dad. I could do all sorts Dad, of things. Dad, no. I won't stop. Dad. It. Let's wrap. Let's be real. He's gonna die in that ring. Unless you stop it. Do you not understand, like, what are we doing here? Just finish the match. I have other places to be. I see you've gotten booked for a match later. So here's how it's going to work. As soon as that bell rings in his match tonight, I'm going to attack his opponent so that he is disqualified and he is forced to step away from the ring. So that you get locked in for the turn, you start to move, and then you feel that same feeling you felt oh, a couple no. of weeks oh, ago. Oh, no, it's not your own. gonna be me own, I'm doing! I'm standing up for what I believe in. And what I believe is that you should not be a wrestler. You should be a father. <sighs> oh! 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 I saw through the air. I saw through the past, through years of work, of training, of hopes and dreams. I hit Tony in the side of the head with my foot as hard as I possibly can. You're not going to stop, are you? I'll stop, but when I'm ready. Well then, looks like I'm gonna have to stop you. You and me. One on one. The colossal tussle. I'm sorry. But I'm going to send you home where you belong. Oh, I've still got it, lad. I could beat anyone on this roster. I could beat them all around the ring until the cows come home. And when the cows come home, I'll fucking milk them. <laughs> because that's what real men do. We'll talk about this in the car. Yeah, we'll talk about it in the car. We'll talk about it in the car. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One, one fall. fall! If the milkman loses this match, he must retire from City British Wrestling forever. How much of an egomaniac is he? <laughs> don't die. Please don't, don't die. die. Please, Please don't, don't die. die. Please, Please don't, don't die. die. <laughs> Making his way to the ring, hailing from Puddington, Yorkshire, the Milk Man! Woo! So the lights go out, uh, there's a mournful tootling on a bugle from backstage. <laughs> like military drumming is 
coming in from the back. Uh, a figure rides out onto the stage on a bull wearing full milkman's gear, but it's got like military style epaulets. It's got medals on it. They're bearing a flag with the on it crossed milk pint glasses. Uh, they, they make their way to the corner. It's not the milkman. They braise up the bugle and sound again. <laughs> Bavarian milkmaids make their way out. They're drumming on milk pails. There are there's a fleet of like militarized milk floats with cannons of uh, shaped like milk bottles on them. All of, all the milkmen in this in this flotilla are basically dressed in this kind of like military style um, garb. Big. Uh, Sets of udders are, are, are like wheeled onto the stage like cannon. <laughs> Bear arms! <laughs> Everyone readies up. Fire! And the milk cannons go off. <laughs> the milkman's music hits at that moment. <laughs> A giant set of udders begins to descend from the ceiling. Uh, they're rotating and spurting milk into the crowd <laughs> as they go. The, the flotilla has made their way around the ring and they are all saluting up at the udders. They're just coming down and coming down, except the one udder in the center which begins to bulge and stretch and give birth to Tony the Milkman who splashes out into the center of the ring, covered in... Milk. <laughs> yeah, milk. Oh, milk. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, that bit where he comes out the rhino's ass in Ace Ventura. <laughs> <why I imagined. laughs> and Tony stands in the middle of the ring. He gives a salute. He is also wearing full military milkman uniform. His dress uniform, I guess. He salutes to everyone. They salute back. Signs off, and that's the end of the entrance. Um, if you if you want to, you can take the mic and address uh, the City British Wrestling public one last time. Oh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for what might be my retirement match. Weeks ago, the City British Wrestling Management told me that I was too old, I was too fat, I was too slow to be a member of this roster, and they wanted me to go out before we even reached the colossal tussle. Well, I made it here now, and I have proven that I am ready to go out on my terms I want to tell you one thing. Wrestling, it saved my life. Before I were a milkman, I was addicted. I was, I was on the source. I'm not proud to say it, I was, I was on the source. And the doctors said to me, they said to me, you couldn't really just replace a 12 can a day habit with its equivalent in milk, but I did it <laughs> and I'm here. Excuse me. <laughs> I just... Anyway, let's get on with the match. It's against my son, so, uh, you know, I think there'll be some stuff we've got to work out. <laughs> Ta-ra! That is it. Wonderful. <laughs> Making his way to the stage from Puddington, Yorkshire, Kid Flips! Spotlight on a manhole at the top of the ramp. You see purple light start to emanate from behind it, and then suddenly it blasts open, and Kid Flips, wearing a jetpack, flies out and around the arena. He is trailing behind him a huge banner that just says, Dad! on it, and he has got his skateboard, and he is now grinding against, upside down, against the top of the arena. He is throwing out Pop-Tarts and Pogs to the assembled crowd. And he, he doesn't really know how to fly this thing, so he's just going round and around and around until finally he, he gets a hold of it and he stops, does an ollie in midair, a kick flip. Oh, sh he's dropped the skateboard. There's a souvenir for a lucky fan. And then he lowers himself down, down to the ring, uncouples the jetpack. And stands there, looking at his dad. Is there anything you'd like to say to your dad, not to the public, but to your father? Dad, I'm going to ask this of you. And I want you to think long and hard before you decide. Think about home. Think about what we could have, you, 
me, ma'am, think about how happy we could be and lay down. <gasps> you know I'll never lay down, lad. Take your coat off. I'm going to give him a hell of a show. Oh, 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 it's so cool. I take off my tie-dye coat to reveal my tie-dye <laughs> t-shirt. I straighten my mask and make sure my hair is it's rock solid. <laughs> right. May the best man win. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, boy. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, my God. And we'll start with the milkman in control. <laughs> Respectful. Yeah. Back off and start to circle. Now, remember what I taught you, boy. Remember what I taught you. We start with a lockup. Um. Can I go for something else? Can I roll to go for something else? Um, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to try and roll him up immediately. <gasps> um, yes, you absolutely can. That is going to be a... You can either roll and work for that or you can roll on your heat with your dad. Uh, my heat with my dad is plus two. So I'm going to roll on... Well, my work is plus two anyway, so yes. That. Yes. <laughs> um, I just look at him and say, hi. I remember what you taught me. And then try and go for a pinning attempt. <gasps> It's oh, a critical no, oh my god! <laughs> 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 I mean, to be fair, it's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> okay, oh so you, you shoot in, um, go straight in for the roll up. Um, like, yeah, like, boom, get your dad's uh, shoulders firm against that. <laughs> oh um, I want you to take me through what's going through your head as we go through this count. One. Um, I, I'm thinking about um, how happy we could be uh, together as a family. Uh, I'm thinking about our first Sunday roast where he's going to glaze the turkey with milk and we're going to cut it and, and laugh and drink milk together. <laughs> On that one, what's going through your head? I'm thinking, fuck me, I taught him well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also thinking that without this, I'm completely lost. Two. I'm thinking that I'm, it's the same lunch. And, I, and I'm, I'm looking over at my dad, and it, there's something indescribable in his eyes. He's not meeting any of our gaze. There's something lost about him. And I know in my heart that if this is how it ends, there's a part of my dad that will never come home. Two. I'm thinking uh, just how important being a milkman and wrestling has been to me, and how not only did it save me from a life of alcoholism. It led me to my son. <gasps> you see the ref's hand rise high into the air, silhouetted by the lights from the stadium, and it starts to move down towards the mat for the three count. I look at the ref, look at my dad. I release the hold oh. and walk back to the corner and just sort of, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to do. And I look at him. And he knows what I've done. He knows that he couldn't get out of it. And I look at him and I'll be just like, that's what you taught me. Taught you well. No more second chances. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, I want you to choose this. Please lay down. I won't lay down. I'm going for the live and super kicking. Oh. Um, that's the roll and work. That is a dirty 12. <laughs> oh, that is 12. And it connects beautifully. Oh. Um, take Average us through. Roll of 12. In fact, Milkman, can you take us through what you're feeling as you see your son execute this beautiful high flying maneuver? I, I think just incredibly proud. I, I think this was, this was all I ever wanted was to go out on my terms in a match against my son. Crack across the jaw and boom against the mat. <laughs> I think about pinning him and then 
I pause, I'm conflicted, and then I try for the pin. I've wasted a bit of time, but I try again to pin my dad. Okay, straight to d6 on that. Yeah. This pin's really good. It's a, it's a nine, <laughs> cinch it in. It's a nine. Okay, once again. Boom, one. Boom, two. And I, and I kind of oh, release it and I just like, well, you're gonna well. fight, fight me then. Because if I beat you, when I beat you, I want you coming home full, all right? I don't want you semi-skimmed. I want a whole dad. <laughs> Not a pasteurized one. <laughs> because I know you're better than this. Come on, give me your best so I can beat it and bring you home properly. Get ready for a schooling then, lad. This isn't skim milk, this is condensed milky knowledge. <laughs> and I just rush at him and go for a, uh, uh, I'm gonna get him in a headlock and go for the Irish whip. Uh, okay, go for work. In fact, no, go for heat. Oh my God. Tony is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Spent it all on, on Fex, didn't I? <laughs> um, critical fail. Okay, you, um, fail. <laughs> yeah, you shoot in, um, you go for the Irish whip, you start to um, flip out your arm and then something crack, oh, grind, oh. goes in your mm. back. And you drop to one oh. knee. Maybe it's the paper view that I wanted. Um, your your left arm is out of action completely. Um, and we're going to give you a minus one to your current work score. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, no. You you hear going. something. It's <laughs> so audible in this in this now completely silent um, arena. The audience are on the edges of their seats. You hear something crack that echoes throughout the whole stadium as that Irish whip doesn't land. I, I stop and I nail down and I, I say to him, trying to obviously uh, hide my mouth from the camera, are you okay? Whip me. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? Whip me to the ropes. I, 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 pick him, I pick him up and I try an Irish whip him to the ropes. Um, yeah, roll and work for that. That's two. That is a five. Um, as, you, as you go for that whip and you try to fling your dad towards the ropes, um, you just, you whip a little too hard and you hear another sharp, hard oh. crack. Another blast of pain shoots through your arm, oh. through your shoulder. Um, and you just stumble face first onto the mat a few feet away from Kid Flips. Oh, I begin to sort of one-armed crawl towards the corner. Um, I, I'm just shouting at him now. Give up, please. It has to be your choice. Not until we've given the city British public what they want. I say, fine. I'll give the people what they want. And I go for the Clarissa Explains It All moonsault. <laughs> um, that's another work roll. That is a nine. Um, yeah, you climb to that top rope, you flip through the air beautifully, and your moonsault connects. Boom! against your dad. You hear another crack and grind as your body hits his. Um, I, God, I, 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 I pick him up. I try and pick him up and just being like, just hit me with something, okay? Just hit me with anything, okay? Please. Go for the one big forearm. That's a power roll. Go on. It doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> It's all the same. <laughs> it's a three. Oh um, <laughs> it's like it knows it's the milkman. It's like they know. These are, these are busted. <laughs> uh, you swing your forearm towards your son. It connects, but there's just no force behind it. Your body is so tired. Uh, you feel a feeble forearm bash against your face. And you, you turn your head almost out of courtesy more than anything else. Uh. <laughs> this man is in no state to wrestle. I, I catch, I catch his arm, and I, I pull him in for a hug, and then I hit him with a Spanish fly. <laughs> so oh, I, I moonsault and he flips forward, and we both just clam to the slam on work. I don't think so. Uh, plus work that is six. That is a fail. Um, you, you go into the Spanish flag, you lift um, your dad up, um, but as you lift him up and as you, you feel um, that, you, you feel the damage in his body as you do it, um, uh -oh. there's just something in you can't, on a subconscious level, follow through and you drop him halfway through. <laughs> um, 
uh, you land, boom, quite softly on the mat before the move even really starts. Uh, your son is uh, clearly conflicted at this point. You're back in control if you want to do something. Yep, going to pick the leg. Just trip him, take him down. <laughs> oh, cool, roll and work. Uh, that's better. That's a 10. Oh, oh. Sorry, that's an 11. Um, so it yeah. works one. Zero. You um, yeah, kick your leg out, sweep it underneath, kid flips, boom, he falls into the mat. Um, were you... Did you stand up to do this flip or are you, you knocking him down from knocking the, down from the floor. So now you are both lying on the mat, um, like end to end. Uh, the milkman panting and wheezing. Uh, kid flips racked with emotional conflict. I, uh, I think, um, okay, he's got to move in now. He's, he, he, he can go out on his own terms. <laughs> uh, I decide I'm going for a, a big move, a move the crowd's never seen before. Oh, wow. uh, I uh, I kip up, uh, which is I guess work. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, <laughs> that's an eight. Um, and I set my dad. I pick him up. My dad up. Set him up in the in the corner on the turnbuckle. And I look for my skateboard, but my skateboard's in the crowd. So I go outside the ra- uh, the ropes into the ringside. I reach behind underneath the ring. And I pull out the skateboard that I made for you, and I set it up. I basically, what this is, is I'm going to fly on my skateboard, gain all the momentum in the world because I'm a radical dude, and I'm gonna jump and plant the soles of my feet right in his face. The soles of my feet, I call it the Fresh Prince. Oh! Oh. Your shoes light up. (laughs) You better fucking believe it. <laughs> oh, my mask. No. People will work out who I am. <laughs> right. Uh, what would you like me to roll on that? On that, ooh, I would say because you're using the skateboard, um, you can roll on your heat. Um, but because also it's a 90s pun, you can roll on look. Uh, well, my heat with my dad is two. I'm going to use that, please. <laughs> and it is... It is a... Nine plus two, eleven. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just talk us through. Uh, I fly uh, through the air like a righteous gazelle. <laughs> Don't fly. But they, I, I, I connect both soles of my feet. Boom. Uh, I feel something give uh, beneath my feet. Um, and I kind of springboard off his face onto the top turnbuckle as he lands on the floor behind me and I'm there I'm on the the top rope and I'm gonna go for my finisher um can I roll first to decide if I if if it works before I tell you about it sure just 2d6 just 2d6 that is Ten. I look down at you. We lock eyes, and I say, "I'm sorry. I love you." Kawabunga. <laughs> and I go for round the twist. I flip through the air, uh, starting as a toddler into a young boy, into a slightly older boy, <laughs> into a young teenager, into the man that I am now, and I land full force on my dad. I'm gonna need you to make a power roll for me. Uh, that is a six. As you connect with the milkman's chest, you hear an almighty crumble. As you feel the soft and damaged bone and tissue of an old man's body give way under your body weight. Air gasps and bursts out of the milkman's lungs along with a jet of blood and a spray of milk. Naturally. You instantly um, step off his chest and can see um, through the like the gore 
and the dent you made, how much damage you've just done to your father's body. Uh, Milkman, your vision starts to blur. Your breathing starts to get raspy and shallow and slow. Uh, your son is standing over you. Um, a look of abject horror, I guess, right now. Yeah, on your I guess. Face, on his face. Uh, what do you say to him? Boy, kid, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. You, being a dad, is the best job I ever had. And I've had that and being a wrestler all the time. Because I'm old school. Keep doing what you're doing. I nod. I hook the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so as you go to the leg, you see the milkman cough up more blood. You hear his, his breathing gets slower um, and slower and more laboured. He's, he's going to survive. And I have to, I have to make sure I win the match so that he can come home. So that he retires. And we have the life that we've always dreamed of. I cinch the pin in. And I bellow at the ref. Count! Count! Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is a three count. It's going to be three rolls for each count. Oh my god. And he still wins if I die, so. <laughs> One. Just straight? Just straight. Six. Two. So that's one success and one fail. Oh. Three. Nine. Oh my god! Three! Ding ding ding! Oh. Your winner! Kid Flips! <sighs> the um, medic bursts onto the scene, vaults over the ropes, runs up to um, uh, runs up to the milkman, um, starts unpacking things from his little medical chest. Uh, another couple of medics run up and swarm around you. You've now got about three or four professionals just focusing on you. They push you out of the way um, so they can get some space. Uh, move you onto a stretcher and um, you are carried out of the ring. Can I stop them from carrying me out of the ring for a second? Yes, you can. Yeah. What would you like to do? I want to step off the stretcher and I want to walk over through all the medics and I want to raise my son's hand. You really need medical attention. You can do this. Raise, go and raise your son's hand first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, talk us through that. So I sort of, they're putting me on the stretcher, I'm wheezing, I'm coughing, I'm spluttering. I, push them away with the last ounce of my strength from my one good arm oh God. and just make my way through and I say you can hold me up if you want to but let me do this and I go through I spin him round from wherever if he's gone to the corner covering his face grab the hand and I just raise it in front of the crowd kid I I, I stand there and I, I I look at him and I say and notice all the blood just sort of draining from your face and I catch you as you fall. Roll. And just so we know what's at stake here, you want a success and not a failure. Yeah. Uh, that's a six. Can I use a re-roll? <laughs> yes, you can. Because you put over the guy on your way out and that's what I believe in. Hello. <gasps> <laughs> so you, yeah, all the colour drains from your face. You drop, um, oh, just about to hit the mat, and boof! Uh, Kid Flips catches you before you hit, hit, hit the ground and lifts you back up again. Um, I, I raise my father's hand in the air, and I, um, I offer him a few drips in it. <laughs> <laughs> I offer him the microphone, and I tell everyone to leave the ring. For just a moment and give you the ring. <coughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I just want to say, 
Nothing flashy, no ponds, no nothing. Working here has been the best time in my life. It's led me to a purpose, it's led me to a boy. I never knew I had until very recently. I just want to say I love you, CBW crowd. You are like a second family to me, but there is a family that is much closer. It's Doris and it's Kid Flips. I love you and I'm proud of both of you. And the crowd lose their shit. <laughs> okay, wonderful, wonderful stuff. He's now dead. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna just take a look at your stat sheet. Damn. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this changes to people. No, be nice. It's only oh, a little yeah, bit limpy. I've got her limbs. It's <laughs> walking down. <laughs> it's <laughs> Essentially, you've been brought down in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> one, I've got a dodgy arm, a dodgy leg, and a dodgy back. Can you reinforce yeah. denim? Is that because I've been using all the medical place. supplies? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing left. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't bring out a defibrillator for you, babe. I know. A little shock. <sighs> so, do you, um, do you want a pen? Uh, we're just going to, for the, the leg and the arm, we're going to drop you down to minus two work and minus three power. Oh, dear. That's the, whole, that's the whole point of a, a, a heel pre-championship beatdown. Okay, but, cool. but the reel is still high. The reel is still high. Yeah, okay. yeah, so what am I going down? Minus um, two work. Minus two work, and minus three on power. Well, shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for the City British Wrestling Championship Woo! match. Yeah! Damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win. Let's find out if blood is thicker than blood. <laughs> City British Champion for one thousand days. I am not afraid, and uh, I will win. There is no, there is no doubt. Oh, look at you. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? You look like you could put up a really good shelf. Fired from Ooh. City British Wrestling forever. Strike five. And just in time to see the figure of Apex standing over you. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. You were fired. I am strong. You, you are all weak. I demand my job back, and not only do I demand it back, I want to show him the title. Dead him, dead him, dead him, dead him. You get your chance by entering the legal wrangle. You'll be entering this year's legal rival oh, no. oh. at number one. Oh. There is no one who can stop me. Oh, come on, dead him, dead him, dead him, dead him, dead him, dead him, dead him. Damn one, damn one, damn one, damn one. I'm gonna use this opportunity to just flip my body over. Oh, wow. oh first elimination. Oh. He got oh. it! Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Three, four, five. Dan win. Dan win. Dan win. And whoosh. Over the top rope. <laughs> Boom! Ah! Yeah! Your winner of this year's Regal Wrangle, the Daddy Matrix! Yeah! There is a sickening crack, and your knee bends 90 degrees in the wrong direction. Ah! Crack. 
Oh. One big hand around one of the horns. No. One big hand around. No, 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 no. Tears. Oh. Oh. You hear the stitching pop. You feel your flesh tear, and oh. blood just oh. starts to gush oh. out the side of your head. Oh. Crack. Oh. Oh. Your spine oh. just gives way under the force oh. of his knee. You will never be. C B W champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. The winner of this match will claim the City British Championship belt. Oh. Belt, 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 belt. <laughs> Making his way to the stage, hailing from parts unknown, your city British champion, Apex! There is an almighty deafening hollow clatter, followed by the boom, boom, boom of feet heavier than a human being could possibly have. And you see, coming to the top of the ramp, two huge, tusked, woolly mammoths, <laughs> and they are pulling behind them a giant chariot made of the bones of inconceivably large animals. Standing atop the chariot in the driver's seat, wielding a whip made from something spine, is Apex. He's still wearing heavy steel chains around his wrist and around his waist. He is chewing something that looks like metal in his mouth. <laughs> he cracks the whip against the backs of the mammoths who rear up on their back legs and trumpet furiously into the air. He stops his chariot at the top of the ramp, hops down onto the, onto the metal of the ramp and he leaves these two huge heavy dents in the metal as he lands. He stalks his way down the ramp, down to the ring with his belt around his hands. He flings it up in the air, <laughs> bellows into the crowd, sets the belt down on the ground and jumps with one big launch of his powerful thighs over the rope and into the center of the ring. He bellows once again out into the city British wrestling audience and then stands facing the ramp waiting for his opponent. Making her way to the ring, hailing from Whipsford, Reading, Danny Matrix! Uh, so there's no, there's no dry ice, there's no lasers. Um, it's just me standing at the top. Standing around too badass. Uh, my injuries that I've sustained are being supported by extra stiff denim, extra starch. Um, uh, but I've still kept the bloody wounds open on my scalp. I stand there for a little while and you realise that I am not alone. Out comes Gerda, Pylon. Whoa! Uh, what was that? Oh, uh, uh, Socratina. Uh, Socratina. And of course, uh, the most recent Grout. Uh, the women of CBW. They are all dressed head to toe in denim. <laughs> Yay! It doesn't matter <laughs> heel or face, they stand by me. They saw what happened and they are buddies. They are not going to join me in the ring, but they are just there to remind me that they are in my corner. We walk down in unison, badass, and we get to the ring. They lift me over, they give me a nod, and they sit down. Literally the sisterhood of the travelling pants. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to a moment with the mic before the match kicks off. I don't want one. Damn win. 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 Okay, your your knee is still bandaged up. Your arm is still bandaged up. What about where your um, stiletto horns were ripped from your head? They're open and um, just letting them let the air heal them. I'm a big believer in that sort of thing. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, roll on power for me right now. Oh, oh dear. Uh, no. Not a good start. That's a three. Oh. Um, immediately, as soon as the bell goes off, <laughs> Apex, <laughs> <laughs> sort of um, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land kind of body slams <laughs> boom, <laughs> straight into your chest, knocks you onto the mat, and just starts stamping boom, boom, boom on your body. Uh, I need another power roll for you on this. Come on, come on, come on, on Denim! Denim. 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 Denim
Yes! Yeah! That is a eight. eight. On the third foot, your hand thump, catches the bottom of his boot. Mm. Um, what do you um, do? I uh, go to... Uh, the only thing I do is like literally shift him out of the way, hoping to twist him and trip him up. Um, great. Roll on work for that. Okay. This is not tower. Ooh, Ooh, six. 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 Um, you go to turn his foot, and then your uh, your elbow shoots with pain, um, and he simply rests his foot out of your hand and starts stomping again. And another power roll from you. Oh, okay, come on. Power roll. Yeah, that's seven. Is seven. Seven. Once again, boom! You catch his feet in your hands. Mm. Once again, you have a grip on Apex's foot. What are you doing? I'm literally just gonna push it off and roll out the way as quickly as possible. That is a power roll to push it off. Oh, oh, but it's a rock. Come on, Denim. Okay, fine. Come on, give me something huge. Oh, yeah, that's five. That's five. Oh, it's a five. Um, you, try to, you try to move his body, but there's just too much of him. Rather than stamping now, he just slowly puts the pressure on. You can see his thigh like bulge inside his trousers as he pushes this foot down slowly <laughs> on your hand. Um, Thigh, thigh bar inside his trousers. Because you put your trousers over your thighs, that's where you wear trousers. Come on, guys. You, you know, have a fact of the male roster. I do, and I'm um, just QC talking about it. Well, where is QC? Um, QC is nowhere to be seen. Um, it's just you and Apex, yeah. and of course, your supporters. Um, Apex, yeah, pushes down, um, pushes down against your hand, sort of bends your arm in and of itself, and you feel more pain shoot through your elbow. He then grabs another hand around your throat, squeezes it around your neck, and then lifts you up um, off the ground, feet dangling about three feet off the ground at this point, and just starts to choke you. I'm going to need another power roll from you. Uh, four. Four. The hand squeezes tighter and tighter around your throat. Your vision starts to blur. Your vision starts to fade. What are you doing? Um, I am using every ounce of strength to get my fingernails, because they seem to be the only thing that can actually work at this point, to rip his arms to shreds. I'm just going at it with everything that I've got. You can roll on real for that. Yes! yes! Oh, <laughs> so six! six. <laughs> um, you move your hands away from his fingers where you're trying to get some air to your windpipe. You start slashing away at his arms and your fingernails break <gasps> on his oh, leathery no, skin. No, 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 oh, no, 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 they were so precious. Um, with every, every slash, another fingernail breaks and whittles down until you just have these sort of chewed, thick, you know, you know what they look like when people chew their fingernails. Oh, mine. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just keep on slashing until your fingernails are just worn away through erosion and his hand is still around your throat. Oh. Your vision fades even more. You feel your eyes starting to roll in the back of your head. What are you doing? Um, I am, uh, the only thing I can do, I'm just going to dribble so much that I make his hand all lubricated and I want to slide out of it. Um, I'll say roll and look for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not a minus. Please, for the love of God. Yes! yes! It's a ten! Yes! You oh. just start dribbling like a <laughs> fucking fountain from your mouth. <laughs> Like that spittle slides down your lips, oh, slides down your neck, slides into his fingers. And you feel that grip not so much loosen, but start to lubricate. And you are able to, you're just trying to sort of pull your head through. Yeah, I just want to pull through like, Yeah, you, you <laughs> um, pop through. Uh, all, the, all, all that insane amount of spittle sort of moves up your face and gets your hair sort of dank and wet. Um, but you boom, land on your feet. Um, uh, roll on work for me. Oh, six. six. As you land on your feet uh, with a closed fist, Apex goes to swing a hard, stiff um, lariat at you, and uh, you just don't duck out quite in time. It connects with the side of your head and knocks you to the mat. Oh. Uh, he just stands there above you, chuckling to himself, adjusting the chains on his wrists. Oh, yeah, so hang on, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the ground, You're am I? On the ground. Ah, oh, great, cool. <laughs> um, I'm just going to continue rolling out of the way, as far away from as possible, uh, to get to the ropes. Um, cool, so you're just gonna roll well, across the ground. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, I'm not sure what that is, just a straight 2d6 for that, if okay, you're just cool. running away. Uh, just get out of the way for, for a sec. Yeah, cool, it's a 10. It's a 10. Yes. Cool. Um, yeah, you, are you sort of log rolling? I'm just log rolling, you know like <laughs> when kids roll down a hill? Yeah. Like that, yeah. Cool, yeah, you, you just um, log roll across the, <laughs> across the mat, um, right up to the corner. Um, Apex hasn't moved from his spot at this point. Cool. Um, I look at my sisters 
and um, I see that they are just cheering me on, and it gives me this like real, real like yes, we're I can do this, I can do this, um, and I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna, um, uh, gonna climb the ropes, and I'm gonna go for a, I just wanna go for a splash, but the zippers on my chest are just pointing out. You know when you like <laughs> land and you've got like zips like that, so like that, pointy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can you can you can roll and look for that. That's pretty that's pretty denimy. Just like spike no, not real. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, it's a ten. Yeah, you climb to that rope, you leap, you splash towards him. Um where are you aiming with these zippers? I wanna go for his eyes. Oh holy hell! Cool. Can um I yeah, can... absolutely. You collide with his body, these little sticky out zippers. Boink, boink, <laughs> in both of his uh, like tiny jet black, like reptilian eyes. Mm. He yells in pain, clasps his hands over his eyes, sort of um, doubles over in pain and starts sort of stamping around, blind and furious, swinging his arms wildly. Um, I'm going to say you can roll uh, just a straight 2d6 on this. Oh, Oh, Oh. that's a critical fail. Is it because I've got um, the. Uh, you, have, you do have two rerolls. Yeah. Uh, what do I have? I have a. You have st- stand up for what you believe in, and you have um, do something about it. Stand up for what I believe in. This prick should not be allowed to be a champion. You debate me up completely unnecessarily. Um, that's that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. That's good enough for me. Come on, holy shit. Whoa, so at least it's a fight. Um, <laughs> at least it's not a critical fail. Yeah. You've, I'm gonna kind, say you've kind of moved up a bit, at least. Um, you can re-roll or you Woo! can take this. I, do you know I'm going to take this? Um, yeah, he's just swinging his arms wildly and partly through some kind of animalistic instinct and partly through just good luck. A big heavy arm swings past, an open palm um, connects with your face and just flings you across the ring up into the turnbuckle. Boom, you feel your spine collide with the turnbuckle. Um, the wind is knocked out of you. Uh, but at this point in time, Apex is still struggling to see and still just swinging blindly and wildly around the ring. Uh, uh, okay. Damn. Damn. Okay. Cool. Damn. So he's blindly swimming Damn. around the w- ring. Um, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to break the rules and get my whip. <gasps> the I get. Uh, Pylon throws me my whip. It is made of zippers and denim. I'm going to clap him around the back of the head to split the uh, cool. open his skull. So first, we're going to have you roll on look. Okay. Just for now. Ten. 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 So, um, yeah, as uh, Pylon is chucking you the whip, Socratina steps over to <laughs> ah. the referee and poses a complicated ethical issue to it. <laughs> the rules! Yes, the Socratina! Rules. <laughs> and while the two are discussing the finer points of the ethics of professional wrestling, um, the referee's <laughs> attention is far from the ring. The whip lands in your hand. Um, what are you doing with it? I want to crack him at the back of the head with the intention of splitting the skin open so we can oh. see his skull. Roll on real. Oh. Yeah, that's oh. real. <laughs> That's really real. Oh. What is that? It's a six. It's five. To be fair, Hang you on. are doing something underhanded here. You could maybe re-roll that. Yes. If I you like want to that. re-roll, um, that's your last re-roll used up, but you're welcome to if you want to. Come on. Come on, you got this. It's your real. You're definitely gonna do it, probably. <laughs> yeah! Here comes uh, the success. It's coming. It's oh, coming. Dem win. Win. Here it comes. Dem win. Dem that, wins, baby. I'm not going to re Oh! The whip cracks against the back of Apex's head. And what's it made out of your whip? Uh, it zips and um, denim, obviously. Um, it just splits into all the individual teeth of the zips that scatter with a clatter across the mat. Um, uh, the impact on the back of uh, his head is enough Dem to cause Apex to snap back into focus. He turns to face you. I lunges towards you, I'm gonna need to roll on power. Oh, oh no. Power me. Come on, give me something. Oh, no, no, oh that's a seven! Seven! Yes. Seven! Yes. Seven! He swings his big hands towards you, but you catch them in your own. You lock up, hands on hands, and it's now just a strength match, pushing each other across the ring. Okay, cool. Both uh, of you are sort of sinking deep into the mat at this point, like trying yeah. to find purchase on the ground. You see his muscles bulging, you see your own muscles bulging inside the denim. Um, blood starts to seep out from the uh, healing wounds on your head to the sheer pressure you are putting through your body at this point. What yeah. are you doing? Um, uh, we are going down to the ground, and as I can see that he is um, like really pushing towards me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go, and I'm going to let him go past me, and as he goes, I'm going to push him into the mat where all the spiky zips and things are sticking up, and he gets to the mat, and I'm going to push him into the spiky, spiky bits. Okay, that is both... That it feels like both a move of real technical proficiency, but also um, it's involving outside weapons, so it's a real roll. So what's your work? Uh, my work is minus two. You real? 
and it is my plus two. We'll give you a plus one on this. Yes! Okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Seven. seven. That's a seven. That's a seven. Dem wins. Dem wins. You, <laughs> you, you drop your grip for a second enough to get him to lose his balance, and then just yeah, with a with an almost judo like proficiency, bring him down face and chest first into the pile of spiky zip parts that are shattered oh across the back of his skull. Ah! Oh, yeah. Yells in pain. Um, you see his head lift up on mat, and it is embedded all over with these tiny little bits of zips. Little tiny bits of blood are starting to leak from each individual zip indent on his face. Um, he gets to his feet. Um, yeah, that's right. He gets to his feet. <laughs> um, he gets to his feet and just starts scraping oh the bits God. of zip off his face. He collects them in his hands, presses them hard into his knuckles. Whoa! And then swings for your face. Um, you can roll on real for this, though. Fucking blood sport. Yes. yes. Nine. Nine. No. Plus real. So eleven. Blood. His hand collides with your face. You feel this, um, like a, a dozen different sharp pinpricks as these little bits of zipper like press into your skin. His hand uh, retracts, is now clean and empty of bits. The bits are all embedded in your yeah, face, but it just looks fucking rad. Yes! Yeah, so <laughs> you are still standing strong. Yeah, okay, well, great. Um, I'm just going to go for a full like, headbutt then. Oh, yes! yes! Oh, the headbutt, <laughs> headbutt is great. Ooh, headbutt's going to be, that's going to be a power roll. But I've got the shit in my face. You have, that's and a I real roll. And I really want to spit it over. Cool, that's a real roll. Yes, real! Yeah. yeah, it's real! I'll accept that. Thanks. Hells <gasps> yeah! Ten. Boom! Your head connects with his, um, you feel his nose buckle under your forehead. You hear <laughs> boom, boom, he steps back a couple of steps. He's knocked back by the force of your, um, Whipsford kiss. <laughs> so metal. <laughs> Um, he scrapes again to try and get the bits of uh, zipper out of his face. What are you doing? Uh, where is he? So he's, I'm... he's um, you're, you're both around the centre of the ring at this point. Okay, cool. And he's just like clawing away. His he's face. just he's getting more zippers out of his face. Oh, I'm gonna use this opportunity to get it just like just to um, get him in a full Nelson, and then I want to kind of see if I can maneuver him to the ropes to do my favourite thing, which is to strangle people till they pass out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a full Nelson is definitely a work roll. Oh, I should never do that. But here we are. Come on, be nice to me. Oh my, oh, god! oh my god! Amazing, yeah, you, you zip your arms in behind him, you maneuver your hands around for a full zip. Nelson, you put the pressure on this guy's body and just start maneuvering him, his body forced to respond to the pain you're putting him through, boom, boom, step after step, closer and closer to the ropes, boom, boom, you put more pressure on his body and he feels his face and his throat being forced forward as he bends over the uh, ring ropes now connect with his throat and you push down and down and down and he starts to choke and gasp. His arms move away from trying to pull you off from him and just start swinging madly towards you at this point. Um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to keep him there until he is a little less fla flaily. <laughs> okay, so you got him here, great. Mm. I'm, I'm going to say that's going to need to be a power roll to keep him here because you were just exerting pure physical strength on him. Come on. Oh, fuck, I should have done that. Okay. You got this. You got it. That's oh. a six. That's a six. Oh. Um, he, you feel his body starting to go limp and loose. It feels like he's starting to pass out. He's resisting a lot less. <laughs> and just as the strength seems to be leaving his body and you almost unconsciously relieve a little bit of pressure, he flings himself back up, um, turns around, uh, grabs you with both arms and lifts you up into the air, ready to hit his finisher, <gasps> the survival of the fittest. What is his finisher? Uh, it's a it's a gorilla press into a backbreaker. Oh, he basically lifts you up above his head, high above yeah. his head, arms outstretched, and brings yeah, down yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. Um, so what are we going to have from this? So I is he lifted me up now? Um, he has lifted you. Okay, we'll say he's lifted you up into the air because it was a critical success. Yeah. You are now held up in the air, high above Apex's head. Um, it is moments before your already damaged spine is going to be brought down for probably the fourth time in so many weeks against his rock-solid knee. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to you, you die! Him, you sort of <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Denim! Come on, Denim! Come on, Denim! Come on, Denim! At this point as well, you feel your body being stretched, you feel your spine in agony as he's almost elongating it before he brings you down. He is bellowing into the crowd at this point. Okay, cool. Um, well, I am going to reach into my wounds 
in my head. Oh. Um, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to cover my hands in blood and try and use them as another lubricant to slide out of the grip. <laughs> you can roll unreal for that for sure. That's super oh, gross. Oh, gross. Oh, that's really minging. <laughs> <laughs> Damn win. <laughs> Oh, I'm almost happy that doesn't. Work. <laughs> <laughs> you should uh, be encouraged. Yeah. Uh, if you can, I mean, this—I wouldn't say bleeding is underhanded, but um, you can absolutely do underhanded reroll if you can find a way to make this sneaky and devious. Oh, um, there are still bits of the stiletto in my uh, bloods, and I use them as a like really nasty grate in the bloods. So it's like an exfoliating. So you're basically oh, using the ground up bits of stiletto heel that oh, are intermingled gosh. with the blood yeah, in your head, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just sort of give you this kind of nasty like pumice stone. Cream. Also, there's quite a lot of pus because they're a little bit infected. They've been open for a while now, and I haven't really looked after them. Okay, so um, I really want to also. Um, while I'm doing that, can I also like put the pus in his eye as well? Why not? What? Uh, roll the reel. <laughs> Damn no! I've just done this one. Oh, no, twelve pints of milk, mate. <laughs> Have some respect. Oh, that's real though, right? Yeah, it's real. real. That's, that's a nine. nine. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Amazing. So you are being stretched and pulled on this kind of. Oh god! I'm so sorry. This sort of gorilla press come torture act thing he's putting you in at this point. Um, you you manage to get your arms into your. Now reopening head wounds, you manage to pull out some pus, some bits of ground up stiletto, yeah. and just as he's bringing you down towards his knee, quick as a flash, you thrust your arms out and grind them into his eyes. Oh. He, he loses his sense of um, balance and his sense of aim, and you miss his knee by a fraction of an oh. inch, and boom, as he just brings you down onto the mat instead. Cool. It's still incredibly painful, but your spine is still fine. Yay! Yay! I love not having a spine. Um, and once again, he is well, trying to pull one. this crap out of his eyes. What are you doing? He's pulling crap out of his eyes. I just really want to um, do, I'm going to get to my feet as quickly as possible. I am in a lot of pain, but I am mustering every bit of strength and I'm going to go for my favourite, favourite thing where I'm going to suppose open his face over my knee. Just crack it. Go for it. Oh, um, yes. Real. Crack it. Come on, oh. crack it. Yes! yes! That is a 11. Yeah. Okay, as, as he's stumbling around and um, sort of... He, Bends forward at some point, just in an attempt to clean his face up. You take advantage of that momentum, like grab his head and just bring it hard against your knee, against your good knee, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my good knee, that and one. The <laughs> nose you damaged before off, yeah. just <laughs> splits and blood starts gushing out of Apex's face over your knee and staining your denim. Great. He bellows in fury and pain like a wounded animal. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to do it again because um, I want it to it cave in to the point where he chokes on his own blood. Roll on real. Oh, that's that's enough. That's eight. A, that's eight. <laughs> um, he he flips his head up in an attempt to follow see his surroundings and, and and clear some of the blood from his nose. But you just bring his head, boom, back down again on the knee, crack. Oh. Um, you 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 feel on your knee his face turn inwards as you oh. do this. Um, and he lets out another howl of anguish. Concave. Um, he. <laughs> He tries to grab Purchase on the mat and push himself to his feet, but he can't seem to be able to do One it at this point. One more time! <laughs> One more time! One more time! One more time! Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah! yeah. Oh, it's gonna die! Super top! Super top! Uh, roll on reel. Come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, 13! Boom! For a third time. Um, Something, something, something bursts. Um, you just feel this kind of inflated pop over your knee as something you don't know what bursts and some other kind of liquid just leaks out over your clothes. And once more, boom, boom, his huge hands get under the mat, he tries to push himself upright and just collapses <gasps> unconscious on the mat. You've got to go. I'm going yeah, to use this opportunity to um, get him into a pin. I'm pin, 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 yeah, the straight win, damn, win, win, oh, damn, win, win, damn, win, damn, win, damn, win, win, damn, win, damn, win, damn, win, damn, win, that's a seven! <gasps> One, two, two three, yeah! 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 You are win, 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 the win, new city British win. champion, the Danny Matrix! Yeah! cheering section erupt in joy and a little bit of toilet goop. <laughs> <laughs> the audience erupts in rapturous applause and cheers. 
um, the whole stadium, the biggest assembled crowd of City British Wrestling fans in the history of City British Wrestling are chanting your name and are absolutely elated that you, the Denimatrix of all people, now hold the City British Championship belt. Yes. Um, or... <gasps> oh, I'm very um, excited. Oh, no. I... Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here he he's, is. He's fine. My bad. Please get together. <laughs> <laughs> Max, 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 Max. 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 I'm shipping you both so hard. <laughs> the familiar uh, chamber music of QC, the voice of management, pipes through the crowded stadium. And now standing on top of the ramp in his purpley pressed dress trousers, his barrister silks, and his powdered wig, is QC. He's not carrying his gavel this time, though. He is carrying something else. And slung over his shoulder is the City British Championship oh. belt. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. So beautiful. Oh my god! He makes his way down the ramp, up the steps, <laughs> over the ropes, and looks you in the eye. Hi, QC. Well, oh. well, well. <laughs> Denny Matrix, I must say, I am very, very impressed. Oh, oh God, you see, that's so lovely. <laughs> it has not gone unnoticed behind the doors of management of just how much the city British wrestling public seem to be taking a shine to you. It's the past. Yeah. <laughs> it's not past. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Who would have thought someone is, well, downright bizarre? <laughs> you yourself about? would be championship material. Well. <laughs> oh yes, I know very well what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't doubt it, I was just really enjoying it. By order of management themselves, and the sacred laws of city British wrestling, <laughs> I believe this belongs Ooh. to you. I'm so happy, this is wonderful, thank you so much. This is really great, that's a lot happier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. I will leave you, Denimatrix, with your public. But remember this, we'll be watching you very closely. Of course you will, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> And he makes his way out the ring Aww. and back Keep up the see. ramp, yeah. leaving see. you alone in the centre of the ring. Damn win, damn win, damn win. The mic is yours if you want it. Damn it's kind of hard to hold both at the same time. Uh, no, not you. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Plus one heat. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, I, I uh, welcome my um, friends into the ring. We've got uh, Socratina, Pylon, Gerda, and <laughs> Corral. <laughs> 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 there she all, is. <laughs> all misrepresented but incredible fighters and um, I stand by their side, I get them to all put their hand on my belt. Um, that is a, now a little bit covered in open wounds. And, <laughs> and toilet goop. <laughs> <laughs> toilet goop, bits of metal um, and whatever Socratina has. Oh, Not philosophy. even the sweet smelling fragrance of Socratina <laughs> can overpower <laughs> the smell of grout. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, they should be a tag team. <laughs> Um, and oh. I uh, step humbled, I limp, <laughs> covered in blood and all sorts, I take the mic and... I'm <laughs> genuinely happy. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone that didn't uh, turn their back on me and didn't think I was weird. Um, I am strange and my friend's a stranger, um, but I... I'm so proud to stand with my sisters, so proud to stand with my friends, and so proud, proud to be holding this not denim piece of stuff. And I will wear it proudly and now feel under the reign of total domination! Yes! I'm gonna raise it.
and then my friends carry me out of the ring. Just Damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win, damn win. And that's it for this year's Colossal Tussle, the biggest fight of them all. We will see you next season. So there you have it. That was the Colossal Tussle. We hope you loved watching it as much as we loved making it. Uh, we especially want to shout out to our Patreon legends scrolling across the bottom who have sponsored us throughout this entire series. And thank you so much to everyone watching at home for watching our first season of No Rolls Barred. Uh, we are not entirely sure when season two will be coming uh, because right now we can't all get into the same room to record it and ensure the quality that we want to put out on YouTube. However, if you do follow us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no rolls barred, we may be experimenting with a couple of live stream formats, maybe doing some one shots and one off special episodes. So do check us out there. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching and don't worry, CBW will be back.